Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today and this time I'm taking a look at the Traxxas Slash Fox. Now this is kind of the mid-range vehicle or the Traxxas cars that we've been looking at. We started with the Stampede, uh, then we went to the Summit. So we started at the very low end, went to the very high end. This time, the final video, we're doing the middle of the road sort of one. Um, it's not going to be a comprehensive video review by any means because there's just too much to talk about but we'll give you kind of uh, overview sort of hit the highlights type of a deal uh, we'll start off with some accessories that come with the Fox then I'm going to get into a little thing about the different uh, transmitters and sort of show the progression from lower end to higher end for the three vehicles and uh, at the very end of the video I'm going to show some footage of uh, basically what I took outside driving with this thing uh, there's some on the back lane there's some in the park it's kind of fun I'll get to that in a sec let's start off with the uh, the accessories here so the first thing there that you see that is preload spacers and shock pinions so there's just a couple sets of those and then of course the typical uh, car charger fast charger battery that we get uh, with pretty much all three of the of the Traxxas vehicles then there's an optional pinion gear and of course there's some tools now not nearly as many tools as there was with the summit and if you saw the summit video I went into more details on all the accessories if you didn't uh, see that one check that one out and you'll kind of get a better explanation for some of this stuff uh, also there's two different decal or sticker sheets uh, one has some numbers so you can number your car and then of course all the Traxxas logos the typical stuff and of course finally there's the uh, the typical battery this comes with all three of the Traxxas vehicles that I've been testing it's the 8.4 volt 3000 mAh it's a seven cell battery pack um, we'll show you how to load that in there in a second as well but let's just take a look at the controllers here so on the far left this one is a Traxxas Stampede and you can see it's quite a bit more basic not as many buttons and knobs and such as the other two and as you move over to the middle one the middle one is the Fox and then of course on the end here is the Summit and from one to another they progressively have more and more stuff going on and that sort of shows how you're moving from that lower end all the way through to the higher end now the uh, principal ones on this that are kind of a little bit different is probably your multi-function uh, knob there and now the Summit also has a multi-function knob but what's interesting is that the two their multi-function knobs do completely different things so on the Summit the multi-function knob is basically a steering sensitivity knob and on this one the Fox it has to do with uh, stability it's called Traxxas Stability Management and basically what that means is that if you're sort of on slippery conditions, you know, wet roads or whatever, it's uh, it's going to help you if you adjust that. It's going to help you with your traction and, and uh, kind of not to fishtail and sort of that type of thing. Although, to tell the honest truth, I did find that I was having, uh, you know, some skidding issues with this. And maybe it's just that I'm not an expert driver yet, I don't know, but uh, maybe it would come with time, a little bit uh, better control. But anyway, that's the, the main knob that's different on this one from this one. Now, let's just take a look at the car itself because, as you can see, it's got this beautiful black and white color scheme. I really, really like it. Uh, of course, the shell here on the top is just your basic plastic shell. We'll take that off and you can see it's just flexible like they all are. Very nice. And you can put the stickers on there if you like. Just set that aside for now. And I just wanted to show this other battery as well because this one here, it's a lithium polymer. It's also a Tractus ID battery, but it's 5,000 mAh. And um, what I've been reading about this thing is that uh, right out of the box, it's capable of doing about 40 miles an hour or 65 kilometers an hour. But if you upgrade to a basically more powerful battery, then you can get upwards of 100 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure if you have to do anything else to get that extra speed, but certainly upgrade the battery. So let's just show you how the battery goes in. So there would normally be a cotter pin here. That's this little one. And I've taken it out. But then you just pop this off and move this thing out of the way here. And you know what? I'm actually going to put in this other one because this other one goes in just a little bit easier. And then these two prongs just go right in here. And that goes down there. And I'm not sure what I do with my cotter pin, but just goes right through. Holds everything in place. Of course, this one has smaller tires than the uh, both the Summit and the Stampede. But they're still pretty airy. It's got your same suspension, all four wheels. 
uh, individual shocks and springs and that sort of thing. Uh, here's your basically your on and off switch over here. You plug your battery in like this. Uh, about 45 minutes or so will get you a pretty good battery charge. Uh, as I've said in the other two videos, probably a good idea to get the Easy Peak charger from Traxxas because you know they charge no faster than this car charger one, but you can charge them in a regular wall outlet and uh, it's very efficient charging. You can charge many different types of Traxxas batteries with it. Um, of course, here's your motor. Here's of course your stands where the body attaches. You've got a pretty good front end and back end bumper. Here's the front, here's the back end. This one's got a little bit of give to it. So if you run into something that's nice, it kind of gives you a little bit of a cushion. Um, your aerial here. That's basically the main stuff that you need to know about on the inside of this thing or under the hood. Now we're going to head outside for a little bit of a, well, basically a little bit of a demonstration. Now normally I take the, the video of just me driving it around. This time I did something different. I mounted my camera to the car itself to give you the view as if you are riding around in this thing. You're the driver basically and it's kind of a wild ride. I don't recommend doing this. You could bust up your camera or your phone as the case may be. Uh, I was very lucky I didn't have any of those kind of issues. Everything came out uh, okay but uh, it's one crazy ride, very bumpy. I don't think I reached the top speeds in the back lane out here because there's really not room to really hit the throttle full. So I shot a little bit out there and then I, later on I went down to a local park. It's quite grassy. Uh, it's not the easiest drive and there's a lot of uh, sticks and stuff because we've had a lot of wind lately sticks have fallen and made a mess down there but it just really flew i got a little bit of a test on a road you can just i mean it's difficult to tell just how fast i'm going and i don't even really know if i was reaching anywhere as close to 100 but it was fast and it felt fast so we'll check that out here uh, at the end and i'm not going to come back to this part so i'll just thank you for watching right now and have an excellent day thanks a lot <laughs>